What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Cheap Sense, back once again. And hopefully you guys and gals are enjoying these little videos. I'm doing these head-to-head -head battles, these comparison videos of your favorite top name brand fragrances versus clone houses or clone houses versus clone houses, depending on if I have the original or not. Um, this one, I actually have the original of. And I have one particular clone from one particular house. This one is from the house of Tom Ford. And it is Ombre Leather. And the house that I'm going to be putting it up against since they did a formulation of Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. This is Sensual Obsessions formulation of Ombre Leather. Sorry if y'all can't really see it, but that's what we're doing. So, we're not going to waste time. We're going to go ahead and spray these. Three good sprays. And I can tell you right now off the rip, this is a man's fragrance. This is not for a little boy. These are for men. So let's see how Karen, Kevin Holt from Sensual Obsession holds up against the original Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. Now, I don't know if Kevin has other variations or other formulations, I should say, of ombre leather, whether he has something stronger or not. This is the only particular one I think I have. He's close, but you can smell the quality and the strength and the original Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. Kevin's formulation that I have here is a lot weaker. You can pick up what I'm assuming is supposed to be the leather in Kevin's version. It's just light. With the Tom Ford version, you can tell it's quality all the way. It's strong, it's projecting. Kevin's version is more for somebody who's not looking to smell manly. They want to be like on the fence about it, go a little light. So for somebody who's not concerned a whole deal about quality or projection and stuff like that, then go with Kevin's version. But if you honestly want to, bang for the buck unless Kevin can amp this up you can smell the notes in this it's strong definitely not for warm weather Kevin's version you probably could pull off in an office setting with maybe like two sprays I would probably go three sprays because it's really not that strong with the original Tom Ford's ombre leather I wouldn't do no more than one spray if you was going to do this in warm weather. At least if you're inside a climate controlled environment like an office or something like that. Maybe one spray. But if you did do that, I would put it under your actual shirt. So it won't be projecting as crazy. But for the warm weather like outside, this wouldn't be good. More for warm weather. This Tom Ford's ombre leather is nice. Price point, not for me. If I could find the original ombre leather at a decent price, I'd buy it. I like the smell of it. I like the scent of it. It's nice. I can't sit here and pretend like I know the notes in this because I don't. And um, 
just going off of scent DNA. I like the original better than Kevin's version. It's just not strong enough. It's not strong enough to keep up. It's very faint. I mean, it's it's there, but the strength is not there. Like the notes aren't popping off the tissue like it is for the Tom Ford. Even just waving it around in the air, I can smell wafts of it. Kevin's version, you damn near got to stick it in your nose. And I'm not trying to talk bad about sensual obsessions and Kevin Holt, but in this particular case, it smells decent. It's just not strong enough. And Tom Ford's ombre leather is just kicking his formulation like all over the place. So unless Kevin has a stronger formulation of his version or formulation of ombre leather, I would not purchase that. I wouldn't. I'm not going to sit here and tell people to go out and get it and not be satisfied because you're not with what I have here from him. It's not even in the same ballpark. This is so much nicer. Wow. But Kevin is doing a great job despite what I say about this particular fragrance because in the other videos he's coming in like second place. Somewhere around in there. He's doing great. Uh, I think he did win one against the Invictus Aqua. He came in first on that one. Now that was superb. But in this case, Ombre Leather takes this one hands down. That is nice. Yeah. All right, y'all. I'm not going to hold you too long on this one. I got a few more videos I want to get done. Uh, but stick with me, y'all. And keep commenting in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. And here is, once again, to smelling great. Peace.